but certainly if we were going to expand, fast stems would be, the, to integrate into the system is, is exactly what we'd be doing. John, I'm here at Cosworth. Who are you and what does your company do? So I'm John Miller. I'm the Manufacturing Director here at Cosworth. Um, Cosworth historically has been well known for motorsport. We did a lot of work with Formula One with the DFV engine. More recently, we've moved away from the motorsport side of things and now we focus more on uh, customer engines, road engines for supercars and hypercars. Your company's changed quite a bit then over the years and with that, what is this system behind us? Because it looks absolutely fantastic. So the, the system C behind us is, the, is from Fastems. It's a flexible manufacturing centre. Uh, we installed this in 2015 to support that, that dream of moving into manufacturing for our customers. So that's great. So this machine behind us is 3,000 square metres. Um, right. What does it do? What goes on behind the scenes? So it's a flexible manufacturing centre. What, what that means is effectively is that we take orders directly from our SEP system. Uh, we can load them into the system and the system works out the most efficient way to make the parts for the customers. We've got 11 CNC machines all tied to the FastM system and some of the benefits are that it, it controls all of our tooling moves, it knows where all the tools are, and it controls all of the lifing of tools and everything else. So you're keeping everything in one place, yes. aren't you? Yep. Was there a reason why you needed this system? Were things going wrong? Were you creating scrap parts? Well, this, this actually went in with the factory, and this, this was really part of the move into making more customer engines away from Formula One. And it was that step, looking for efficiency gains where we could, because we are a small company, um, we can't afford uh, yeah. you know, big crews of people. So this was part of that step forward to get into that and make it more efficient to deliver what the customers have wanted. Has it increased the productivity of your staff? Because you don't need as many people feeding the machines because you've got this system in place. Has it increased your productivity? It, it, it's different, yeah. It means the system itself can run 24 hours a day. And on a typical uh, machining centre, you'd have manual operators loading parts into the machine. So we're here, we've got 11 machines, and you'd have at least one operator per machine on every shift. Here we have two people on each load station on every shift. So you can imagine the difference in the amount of people we need to run the machines so, is significant. Yeah, so with that, how easy is it to, con to control? Are your staff able, were, were able to integrate with it quite easily? Yeah, it is. I think the actual loading of it is relatively easy. They have an interface that they use at the load station. So they, they, call, uh, they call parts in and out, and that, that's what they do. The cleverness, the... the that all goes on in the background really and they don't have to interact with it very much. My next question to you was actually how smart is the system yeah. because it's not just loading parts, no. taking parts off, it's so much more than that. That's right. Yeah, so it's got a scheduling engine in it, um, which is what I was talking about in terms of being able to decide what's the most efficient way to make the parts. There's that, there's the tooling side, there's the controlling of uh, stock. It, it's incredibly clever uh, and we probably don't, don't use all of it either and we still get more than we need out of it. So you've got this system in place with 11 machines on it at the moment. Is there a chance to be able to increase that and would you increase it with fast stems? So we, we have looked at that. It's not, it's not easy to, to flex, but no, it, has the, it has the flexibility. Uh, we could add, and we have looked at it. It sort of depends from our point of view. It's quite a strategic decision. It depends on the type of work and the amount of work we have. We've been talking to fast stems. I have another factory as well on a, on a different site and we're looking at improving that system, that's an opportunity we're looking at as well for the future. But certainly, if we were going to expand, fast stems would be, the, to integrate into this system is, is exactly what we'd be doing.